here's what we have going on today. So today is a shower day and pack up day because tomorrow I am headed back to my home base for four days to do all my shopping and restocking and whatnot. And then I will head to Quartzsite on, yeah, so uh, on Sunday. I haven't actually been to Quartzsite and since December. I was only there for three days, but I haven't spent any substantial time there uh, since November. This morning I just plugged in my solar to my Vitomin. I have my water sitting in the sun. My bucket is over the water just to kind of help it warm up a little bit. But of course I'll warm some water on the stove later. So we just got out of the van. We kind of slept in because Winston had to get up in the night and go potty around 5 a.m. So we slept in. So I haven't done anything in the van yet. So I have all this stuff to do. I will probably shower around 1 today so I can get my tent and everything packed up. But we are expecting, I think, 67. And as you can see, very sunny today. Y'all, I have been doing so much cleaning today, so I thought that I would take this opportunity to show you how much power some of my electronics use. So this is my RockPals 300 watt power station, and this is the main power station I use for charging my electronics. That's, that's really all that this is used for. Right now, I have in the, um, the AC output, I have my Nintendo Switch. So I carry this for gaming on the road. I absolutely love this thing. Kind of gives me something to do in the evenings. And charging right now, it is using 8 to 9 watts. So drawing very little power. I will take that out. And now this is my Samsung Galaxy Tab. Uh, or tablet, I should say. This is what I use to stream all my shows, watch my movies, that sort of thing. Let's see if it's even, is it at, a, no, it's not at 100%. So, oh, I didn't turn that on here. Okay, so using the fast charging port, it only uses three to six watts of power at the most. This is my brand new laptop, my Asus Vivo Book, and I'm obsessed with this thing. It's so perfect for my van, lightweight, small. I can do all my work on it, it's tremendous. I just plugged it in and it draws anywhere from about 35 to 40 watts to charge. The nice thing is I never let it completely die and the battery on this baby lasts like eight hours. So my Rock Pals is more than enough to get it charged up. And while I'm talking about charging, I also want to remind everybody that I keep all of my electronic cords in this CD case. It keeps them nice and organized and it's great. So that's how I keep them organized. And I'm actually about to do some work on my laptop. So it works out that I'm getting it charged up a bit. Hey kid. I have made a decision about my February plans. I will be attending Schoolie Palooza at the end of this month, January, with a couple of friends. Honestly, probably for only like two nights because I want to get some like good partying in uh, to decompress a little bit. But at the same time, events like that are more difficult uh, for me to attend because I have Winston and his safety and comfort. Uh, is always my number one priority. So there's a lot of people and a lot of dogs and all that type of stuff. And I don't trust uh, big dogs, irresponsible people with big dogs, especially at like at Schoolie Palooza, a lot of people tend to have them off leash and stuff like that. And like, I don't have Winston off leash at an event like that because there are so many people and everyone's right on top of each other. So, but n not everyone is responsible. <laughs> so um, I can probably only handle like two nights there, but I'm looking forward to attending with my friends. And after that, I will head back to the home base. And in February, I'm going to head north to Nevada. Did you know that Nevada is actually 85% uninhabited public land? That is true facts. And 
and I haven't really explored a lot of Nevada. I've I've been to Vegas like countless times. I've taken Winston to Las Vegas. Um, it's only it's less than a five hour drive from my house, so been there plenty of times been to Lake Mead, you know, that sort of thing. But I've never really like camped up there and explored uh, the public land that the state has to offer. So I think that February will be a great time to take like a three week solo trip up there. And there are some places that I want to check out. I will take you all along for my travels and all of my camping and boondocking. Of course, I will be boondocking on BLM land. Um, I won't disclose where I'm at until after I leave for safety purposes, of course, but I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to taking that time to refresh and just kind of renew my soul after such a crazy January. Um, by the end of the month, I know I'm going to be tired and ready for time alone away from chaos and activity so where Winston and I can just take it easy and explore a bit on our own. So that's what I'm going to do in February and I'm kind of planning out my route but I'm really excited about it. So I'm not I'm going to do some research of you know I have like a couple places that I want to check out but I'm going to also research a few backup locations and Come February, we'll just head up there and see where the wind takes us. I just took my shower, as you can see, by my turby twist. And I took it a little bit earlier today, but although it is warm out in the sun, so that's nice. Took it a little bit earlier so I can give everything a chance to dry here. So I will need to pack up my shower tent and I want it to completely dry out. I'll take out my shampoo and all my, my soap and my shower stuff, all of that, wipe it off, put it away. Ooh, ooh, battery fell off here. I hang up my shower just kind of <laughs> on my mirror so it can dry out. I like everything dried out before I put it in my rooftop box. And the nice thing about, yep, see, there goes the water. The nice thing about Arizona is it's dry, so everything dries quickly. Same with my bucket. I'm really loving this bucket. The only, the only downside, really, is since it has such a big bottom, even when it still has three inches of water left in it, my pump won't work. So I end up kind of picking up my bucket and like using the rest to either wash me off if I need to or wash off my shower things. I will get that hung up to dry as well. Whoop! Except for also not at the same time. Now these shower tents are actually really easy to put down. I have a video on my channel about how to put it down. It's a three minute video. It's very helpful. In fact, Adventure Van Man just gave me a shout out a couple weeks ago because he used my video to learn how to put his Wolfwise tent down because he said that the brand was not as helpful. So I will let that dry out. And then after that's dry and my rugs dry because I do have dirt, what I do is I clean my feet when I shave my legs before I shower. And then even though I have the rug down, I still use my shoes in the shower and it gets my shoes nice and clean too. But then afterwards, I kind of track some dirt. So as it dries here in the sun afterwards, I can sweep it all off. And someone actually mentioned recently how clean my rug is, even though it's a year old and it's white. It's, it's kind of because of this process, like it'll get wet. I've only hosed it off one time. It'll get wet, it'll get dirty, and then I'll just sweep it off. So it does, since it's an outdoor rug, the water does seep through as well. So nothing really stays on the rug, which is nice. So I will just sweep it off once it's dry. Winston is still in his playpen. That's where he was the whole time I was showering. When I was in my van doing all my after shower care, he was still in there. He still passed out. So this stuff will dry. And then I have my tool bag to put my stakes and everything in. And I up here, I have my shower tent bag. 
my shower bag to put my bucket and my shower in. And yeah, so those will be my big rooftop things. I still need to do my dishes. I warmed up my water. And the last things I will put away this evening will be my chair, Winston's playpen, and the rug. So in the morning when I'm ready to head home, I'm not even going to clean my van. I'm going to throw everything in there because I got to wash my sheets, my blankets. I got lots of laundry to do since I've been gone for eight days. And yeah, so I have plenty ahead of me, but I, it, it's only 1.30, so I still have the rest of my day to enjoy this beautiful sun. And I think my power stations are charged up as well. I started a fire just to use what was left over of the firewood and to burn the cardboard. I got most of camp set up and Winston's already in the van. He's tired, so I'm enjoying the sunset while the fire goes and since he's in bed I have the rooftop box mostly packed up I just have to do the rug and put my stuff in the trunk so thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video remember to like and subscribe I will see you next time